The following is a special presentation of ESPN on ABC. Welcome to our New York studios. I'm Reese Davis. A quintet of afternoon games on ABC. Games from all across the country headlined by the Pac-10 showdown between Cal and Oregon. Winner emerges as likely challenger to USC. Kansas State, Texas, Michigan State, Wisconsin, Maryland, Rutgers, and the ACC showdown unbeaten Clemson taking on Georgia Tech. Then Saturday night football, number one USC takes on the Huskies. Could the Trojans be invincible? Faster than a speedy safety. More powerful than a team of tacklers. Able to leap tall corners in a single bound. Look, up in the poles. It's a duck. It's a badger. Yes, it's the Scarlet Knights. Throughout the land, superheroes have their teams undefeated. Chasing championships. Out west. California's golden flash, Deshaun Jackson, uses his blinding speed to continually burst by his pursuers. In the Midwest, Wisconsin wins on P.J. Hill, their incredible bulk, whose punishing power pummels opponents. Down in the Lone Star State, it's been Captain Longhorn to the rescue, as Colt McCoy has twice narrowly evaded defeat. Clemson's dynamic duo of James Davis and C.J. Spiller have them racing to the top of the ACC. Meanwhile, Rutgers Ray Rice, their man of steel, has transformed the Scarlet Knights into a national power. Will college football superheroes once again save the day? Yeah, on ABC, college football countdown continues. Bottom of the hour. Many of you in the east and the northeast will see Maryland and Rutgers. ACC territory. See if Clemson can stay unbeaten at Georgia Tech. In the Big Ten area, Michigan State and Wisconsin both unbeaten. Kansas State takes another shot at Texas for those of you in the Big 12 in the southwest. And Cal and Oregon, the Pac-10 showdown. Winner emerges as the most likely challenger to USC in the Pac-10. Dennis Dixon has been brilliant. Last week goes 12 of 12 in the third quarter when they're down to Stanford, 156 yards. The consistency throwing the football. That's something he didn't have in the past. Chip Kelly, new offensive coordinator, doing a heck of a job at Oregon. Game big enough to have Chris Fowler in the college game day guys there. And Deshaun Jackson has been kept under wraps as far as punt returns go. You never know when he might get loose. Anytime he touches the ball, everybody holds their breath. Here he goes again! Deshaun Jackson! Deshaun Jackson! 95 yards! He has great vision. Looking for daylight. Say goodbye. Oh, what a bonanza! He is such an explosive player. He explodes in zone ahead. The Cal folks here in Eugene know that the Bears barely survived their first road trip of the season. They haven't won here in Austin Stadium in 20 years. Now, Deshaun Jackson does have a touchdown as a returner. As a receiver, he's been contained. No touchdown catches yet. Less than 10 yards per reception. The thumb has been a problem. So is attention from opposing defenses. So Lavelle Hawkins has been the main receiver. And Justin Forsett, although not 100% today, a dangerous running back. The course so tough yep. for either defense to shut down the weapons on the field. Well, Deshaun Jackson is such a great football player. If I I was a Cal coaches, I would make sure I got him plenty of touches, reverses, screens, anything you do, put the ball in his hands. And as they said, every time he touches the football. Now, having said that, I'm picking Oregon to win the football game. And the reason why is right over my shoulder. Autzen Stadium is the loudest stadium in America per person, and you got to be better than Oregon, not just as good to beat them there. So I'm going... <laughs> the Ducks. Well, the crowd is one reason. So is Dennis Dixon, the yeah. fine quarterback for the Oregon Ducks. It's a crossroads game, a showcase for some of the best individual skill players in the country. And the Ducks and their faithful hoping for payback for the loss at Cal last year. Back to the studio. All right, guys. Cal and Oregon's going to be a great shootout. Who do you like in the game? I I'm worried about you. <laughs> He's, changed He's on that fence. I'm He's trying to direction so much kick him over to, in the hyperbaric chamber. Get him over to your shot. side of the fence. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let me tell you what. I can build a case for both of these teams on here. But I, I spoke with some guys that were players at Cal. Here's Cal's mentality. They're saying, hey, we think we can go intimidate Oregon. And if we hit them in the mouth and knock them around, they're going to give up. That worries me. Because if you're worried about knocking somebody out and you don't knock them out, you're in for a football game and you're in trouble. 
I'm changing. I was Cal. I'm going to Oregon. I think Oregon will really at home, like Corso just said, man, it's a tough place to play. Oregon's a good team. It is a tough place to play, but I'll tell you what, Nate, Nate Longshore's come a long way since the beginning of last year, and he's ready to roll. He's got great weapons in Deshaun Jackson, and now uh, Lavelle Harkins mm -hmm. is becoming the guy. They're double teaming Jackson a lot more. Hawkins having a great year. I love the weapons. Throw best in there. A lot of speed for Cal. Cal, 14 penalties, 121 yards last week. Cal cannot have penalties on the road and have a chance. And Longshore is pretty bad on the road, by the way. And you know, All the right. other thing, too, that, that Oregon can't have is turnovers from the quarterback. That happened last year. It hasn't happened this year. We're going to get you out to your game and keep you up to date on everything that's going on around the country here in the studio. Cal and Oregon, the headliner. We're going to get you out to Michigan State, Wisconsin. All of the games that you are waiting for. Kickoff coming up in just a matter of moments. Showdowns across the country. Games coming to a close right now. Kickoff's coming up after a word from your ABC station. You're watching ESPN on ABC.